Hi. In this slide, uh, we want to look at a concept called the augmented product, which was, I think, really a, a pioneered by a guy named Ted Levitt at the Harvard Business School back in the early 60s. Um, and the idea is the life cycle realities cause us to continue to improve the total package of what we're selling. In the beginning, when we have an exclusive franchise on something where the demand is greater than supply, so it's an allocation, we can say all sales are cash, no returns, caveat emptor, buyer beware. It, it, we, we can get away with all kinds of things. But once the products uh, become commoditized, then we'd say, well, okay, fine. You can get the same stuff at, at, at a maybe a little bit lower price, but, but we have basic service excellence. And when I say basic, it's kind of like going to a hotel. You expect a, a bed, a television, a phone, hot water, et cetera. Uh, you expect basic cleanliness and so forth. But some people say, well, you know, because you are a frequent customer and you come more often and therefore your income stream to us is more valuable, we want to augment the basics and provide you with extra services. So. You know, people who fly planes a lot want to be executive platinum or you want to be a, some special guy at, at the Embassy Suites Hotel because you're staying, you know, for months and months and months on a big consulting contract. Um, and so the, the, the service vendors start to provide these extra services. You know, at a casino, they'll give you, if you gamble enough, they'll give you free drinks. If you gamble even bigger stakes for longer, they'll give you free meals. If you do even more, they'll comp you a room or shows or whatever. Um, and, and to a certain degree, it's, it's endless. It's kind of like, well, as the comp as, as if I come up with a successful extra service and I'm stealing market share, then the competition knocks it off and the extra now becomes a basic expected. So that means, well, what, what am, what am I going to do next, you know, uh, you know, in the future to again, differentiate myself for the most valuable kinds of customers. Now, there are a couple issues here, which is as we start to have a more and more, you know, exotic product, the question is, how much of it is bundled into the price? In other words, here's my price that I will charge you for this product. And bundled into that is the sales rep who calls on you, the inside salespeople, the people who pick it and pack it in the warehouse, the truck, the freight's free. Um, if you want some processing, we maybe give you that for free. It's all bundled in there. Or it may be unbundled. In other words, oh, you want to do business with us? You don't get an outside salesperson, but you can find us in that and call our call center and, and they'll take your order. But but there's strict minimum in orders, minimums, and there's uh, there's uh, freight that's unbundled you have to pay. So you can, you can vary the cost of the service mo model structure based on how much you bundle or unbundle. And that allows you to sort of take care of different strata of customers within a given segment. Now notice also that all these services, basic extra services can be tuned to a given segment of customers. So um, large commercial contractors are buying a different array of items and a different scale of heavy dutiness compared to residential repair, fix it up kinds of contractors. And the, there are industrial plants that buy different arrays of, of components that the contractors wouldn't buy. So, you know, if you're in a given industry, there is as common industry talk or vocabulary for the segments, customers that people normally sell. Most people don't think in terms of where are the economic boundary lines between uh, minnows and trouts and porpoises and whales and what, what bundle or unbundle service package they get. And so we've got to get good at that. And we will do all of these things in, in, a, in a segment coming up called customer nicheonomics. So at any rate, we want to think about having an augmented product that's dynamically tuned to the segment, the strata, and bundled and unbundled based on service model economics. Thanks.